We take a look at five hybrid machines which are shocking, bizarre, and unreal. At number five, the Cyborg Dragonfly. Another scary hybrid machine is currently in development. The dragonflies are fitted with electronic backpacks which are connected to the insect's brain. Neurons are activated by light and the onboard computer takes over basic motory functions of the insect. As a result, the Cyborg Dragonfly can be remotely controlled and is literally turned into a drone. The experiments are still in a preliminary phase, but it will ultimately be used for pollination and surveillance systems. That's number 4, the Cyborg Beetle. Similar to the Dragonfly, this conversion involves the giant flower beetle being turned into a complete drone. Electrodes are connected to the beetle's optic lobes and flight muscles, forcing it under complete control. This type of beetle can carry several grams of payload and be used in search and rescue missions. But it also raises the question of whether or not it's really right to override a being's basic motory functions. But I think more importantly we should ask where this type of automation will draw the line. And whether it will be done to insects, birds, or even mammals. Now, I personally think we should just stick to artificial robots, but I also want to know what you think about it, so let me know in the comments section. At number 3, the Robo Roach. We take it one step further into cyborg mayhem with a commercially available modification. So yes, you can actually buy the Robo Roach kit and install it on a random cockroach that's roaming around in your house. You can then control the insect through an iPhone via Bluetooth, which is a little bit strange. The kit providers actually have instructions on their YouTube channel on how to actually modify the insect, and to be honest, it's one of the more disturbing hacks out there. It's also the first publicly available product which allows you to directly control an insect. For me, this is a little bit too bizarre, but let me know what you think about the Roboroach. Would you actually buy the kit, or has this gone too far? At number 2, the Hybrid Sea Slug. Instead of suppressing total free will, a team of researchers have built a bizarre biohybrid robot. It uses muscles from the mouth of a sea slug and infuses it to a 3D printed shell. An outside current is applied, forcing the muscles to contract and it moves the robot very slowly forward. It's essentially a living machine, or a semi-organic robot which gathers energy from its natural environment. The next step is to incorporate the slug's neurons with a controller and essentially make it remotely controllable. So right away this kind of reminded me of some science fiction shows, and if it really does become scalable, we might just have vehicles which are really half organic, half machine. Which would be definitely strange, but really cool. At the grade number one, the hybrid Stingray. This bizarre, artificial creature has a gold skeleton, plastic fins, and once again, heart muscle cells from a rat. The hybrid robot is controlled via light, which activates the genetically modified cells and allows the machine to move. It's the first hybrid robot which has precise maneuverability, and it's also the beginning of artificial cognition. This type of life form will also help build artificial organs and limbs. The technology is also very new, but ultimately, it removes another barrier between imagination and engineering. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.